What's up, lovely? It's your girl Zoe. If you're new to my channel, what's up? What's popping? But if you're back, welcome back. Today, I'm diving into a topic that's often overlooked the not so glamorous aspect of friendships. We all love the idea of close friends supporting us, but what happens when those relationships turn toxic? So let's talk about the type of toxic friendships. Toxic friendships can happen in, in many different ways. You have those friends that's always competing with you. You have the friend that's always putting you down. You have the friend that always only calls you when they need something, burly check on you, you know what I'm saying? It's a one way street, you know? Um, you know, you have some people that just don't mean you no good. You have those friends and those are toxic friendships in my opinion. I feel like a lot of us have came across a toxic friend, you know what I'm saying, once in our life. You gotta recognize those signs and a lot of the time, you just gotta look out for the red flags. Somebody that's like constantly always criticizing you. Um, I feel like for me, like I always get a gut feeling when I know somebody is not supposed to be in my life or if it's becoming toxic, I definitely get this weird feeling in my gut that is just like, I don't know, it's always spot on. It's always spot on, but it's just this weird, I don't know the feeling. I can't really describe it, but you know, um, lack of trust, you know what I'm saying? If you get a feeling like you don't, you start pulling back when you, you, don't, you, you notice yourself on the phone with your friend and you starting to pull back, you're not telling them a lot of things that you usually would tell them. Um, if you feel drained after hanging out with somebody, that is a toxic friendship. Like, I'm gonna tell you y'all, I've had situations, friendships where it's like, I really love this friend. I really, really love this friend. And it's been not one time, it's been multiple occasions it's happened. And I really loved my friend, and but it's just like every time I was around this person, when I got home, I was drained. I didn't want to talk to nobody for days. I would be like, I I'm turning my phone on, <laughs> on mute, on silent. Like, I don't want to talk. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hang out. I don't want to go out. I don't want to be around anybody because this friendship that I had, it was just so draining. And it took everything out of me when I would... To, to when I would hang out with this person, like it, it was just, and it took everything in from in me to like hang out with them. It was just like I really don't want to, but I'm trying to keep this friendship because I really value this friend. But it's just like one of them things where it's like you just gotta pay attention to the signs. You will know that gut feeling. My friend always told me like you have a spirit of discernment. God gave you to that, gave you that for a reason. And when and when she said that, it hit home because it's like wow, you know what? You're right because sometimes. I never could I never understood what that feeling was in my gut. Oh sorry y'all. I never understood what that feeling was in my gut about why I was feeling so uneasy every time, you know, since I talked to this person or why this person could trigger me so much or whatever, or why this person always has something like you know when you talk to your friends and you joke. You know, I, I feel like a lot of times a lot of people they that joke that uh what do you what do they say? Uh they be joking, like they it's like a joke. They be playfully joking, but some of that shit be hitting home because it be they really feel that way. You know what I'm saying? They really feel that way, and you, I will get this eerie feeling in my stomach, y'all. My gut and the pits of my stomach, y'all. And it just was like, damn, like I really don't want to lose this friendship, but like it's becoming toxic. Like you're saying things that's making me feel uneasy, and the person I am, I'm not argumentative. At it. Like I'm as much as people think I'm argumentative, I'm really not that argumentative. Like I, I really don't like conflict. I really don't like fighting with people. I don't like arguing. Um, well, I like arguing. I do like arguing, but like in a jokingly playful, like you know what I'm saying, like debating way. Like, but I don't want to like get into it with my friends. I don't want to do that. Like that's just not my thing. This never been my silo. And I've always had the same friends forever. Like, I'm just so used to having the same friends. So, when situations turn, like, toxic, it just unfamiliar to me. Because my friends have always just been some freaking dope people. Like, and um, I just, I don't know. Just pay attention to the signs. I'm rambling, but just pay attention to the signs, girl, because it's important. Okay? And another thing, toxic friendships can really take a toll on your mental health. And I think even an another time, one time I had a falling out with a friend really not even a falling out see i don't really fall out with females okay like i don't really follow out. we just we just go our separate ways like you know what i'm saying i don't have no beef with you and nothing like that like i don't consider it falling out but like you can have people in your life that can just really sh like stress you out you can be depressed like friendships these are somebody this because these are people you talk to every day Imagine you talk to somebody every day and it's so toxic. It's it's damn the worst in a relationship. You talk to them about everything. Your mom, you just talk to them about work, school. It's just everything. Anyways, 
Also, toxic friendships can lead to anxiety, stress, um, depression. Like, you really need to have people around you that lift you up, not put you down. Like, for real, for real. Because it really can weigh on your, it really can weigh on your mental health, for real. Like, I'm telling you, like, for me, because I was so used to having, like, the same friends for a very long time. Moving out here to Atlanta and getting to know other people, you know, meeting new people and stuff like that friendships turn toxic or whatever the case is it makes you just it really weighs on your mental health because you kind of feel like damn is it me am i the fucked up person like why i can't keep no friends and you know i looked at it and it's just like you know i just feel like a lot of people a lot of the times we're just placed in each other's lives for a season you can come to the next season with me if you are not toxic and weighing on my mental health you know what i mean that for me that's how i feel and it, it really it, for me like when i say toxic friendships can really weigh on your, your on your mental health is because i literally found myself sad most of the time because i really didn't know how to understand or cope with the fact that i my, me and my friend stopped talking and then it happened again. I'm like, well, what the hell is wrong with me? Um, but then it's not it's not me. You know what I'm saying? And, and when I when I assess the situations, it, it, it wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I'm a person where like I'm a low maintenance friend. My friend always tell me how much of a low maintenance friend I am, and I'm a good friend, and I, I can say that I don't want to be boastful or nothing like that, but I know I'm a good friend. And I try to be a good friend, and I know I have my faults, you know what I'm saying? It's some things that I have to work on, but I know that I'm not a toxic friend. I know I don't bring that toxic energy energy to my friendships at no time. I'm uplifting my friend at, at the whole time. I'm I'm always just gonna uplift my friends and just I don't know I just feel like just pay attention to the signs because baby it will tear you down trust me and another thing it's crucial to set boundaries in your friendships like let your friends know when you're uncomfortable with certain things or if they cross the line because I know for me I would take certain things that really was uncomfortable for me like, that's why you got to get to know your friends for real because Sometimes certain things you shouldn't have to set a boundary for. Some things is just like common sense. You just don't play with. You don't play with certain things. You know what I mean? But like for me, um, yeah, like I really wasn't good at setting boundaries with my friendships. Like I just never had to. So I never knew. Oh, I need to set boundaries. Like what? I never knew nothing about setting boundaries because like my friends just didn't try me like that. People from back home, my friends didn't do that to me. Like I don't know. It's just different now that I'm a grown adult and trying to like have friends and stuff like that but you know what let me tell y'all please 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 remember that it's okay to say no it's okay to say no i literally used to battle with my friends about going out doing this doing that and or like i would like link up with them somewhere and i know that i had like a budget and i know there was something that i was trying to do or whatever the case is and they'd be like oh let's go eat or whatever the case is and i'm like okay you know what i'm saying because i'm trying to make sure that i keep not keep i can't really explain it but like i was trying to make sure that i still spent that time with my friends it was it was good for me because i can go create content but um when you don't want to you don't got to it's okay to say no it is okay to say no if you don't want to you don't feel like it say no for me like i would be like yes 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 baby no no and i mean there was many a time that i would say no 100 percent. like i would just turn my phone off because it was hard for me to say no you know what i'm saying so i would just like turn my phone off not talk to them because like i don't want to say no to my friends like i want like i don't want them to think i want to be around them but certain things i just didn't want to do sometimes despite your best effort a friendship just isn't salvageable anymore and that's okay you've got to know when it's time to walk away you gotta prioritize your own well-being. It's not selfish, it's self-care, for real, for real. Because I went through that and, you know, um, with the last past few years, uh, two of my closest friends, I had to end the friendship with them because, like, and I feel like it was a mutual thing, but it just was like, when it when it gets a little too much, this is affecting my mental health right now. It's, it's getting under my skin too much, so I just gotta walk away. I, I'm cool on this, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we'll revisit again later on in life. You know what I'm saying? I wish 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 well in life, all that stuff. But you gotta know when it's best to walk away from a friendship, and it hurts, and I know it hurts. But we'll talk about that in the next video. The heartbreak of friendships. 
I really wanted to start this series or whatever talking about friendships, the ugly side of friendships, the beautiful side of friendships, and everything in between. And if you take anything away from this video today, I want y'all to remember that friendship is not always rainbows and butterflies, but the right friendship will be worth it. Take care of yourselves. I'll see y'all in the next video.